Let's talk about the spiritual symbolism of veils. And Heather Farrell has a link, and I put that at the end in the references. She does a, a really beautiful article on the symbolism of veils. So I'm taking a few words from her article. The practice of women wearing veils is found repeatedly throughout the scriptures, and for a good portion of human history, it has been common for women, and sometimes men, to veil their heads and faces. Today, in many religions around the world, not just Islam, women still cover their heads and faces when they are in the presence of people not of their family, and or during religious ceremonies and practices. It is a tradition steeped in powerful religious symbolism, and one which Satan has done a good job of misconstruing. Today, many people see a veil as an indicator that whatever is being veiled needs to be protected from outside influences because it is weak, unimportant, or should be controlled. For example, there are people in the world who argue that women need to be veiled in order to protect them from men and their lusts. Or in a similar vein, there are people who see veils as a way to keep something secret, hidden, and untouched. Yet the truth is that such interpretations of veils are exactly the opposite from what they really symbolize. The reason you veil something is because it is powerful, and the veil is to protect those outside of it from the power beneath it. In Exodus 34, we read how Moses came down from the mountain after speaking face to face with God, and his, his face shone so brightly that the children of Israel were afraid to be in his presence. He had to veil his face while talking to them because they could not look upon him. Yet Moses did not veil his face when he talked to God, only when he spoke in front of the congregation. Verse 33 and 34 says, And Moses had done speaking with the children of Israel. He put a veil on his face. But when Moses went before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. So Moses wore the veil when speaking to the children of Israel after having spoken to the Lord, but he did not veil himself when he was speaking to the Lord. Second Corinthians 3 also explains that one of the reasons Moses veiled his face in the front of the children of Israel, but not before God, was because Israel was not yet ready for the power and knowledge that Moses possessed, but that when Israel shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. 2 Corinthians 3, 13 through 14 says, And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished, but their minds were blinded. For until this day remaineth the same veil taken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. Doctrine and Covenants 101 says, that God himself wears a veil. Verse 22, Behold, it is my will that all they who call on my name and worship me according to mine everlasting gospel should gather together and stand in holy places and prepare for the revelation which is to come when the veil of the covering of my temple in my tabernacle which hideth the earth shall be taken off and all flesh shall see me together. So the veil, which we often think of as being over the earth, is actually over God. God is the one being veiled because the earth is not yet ready for the knowledge and power he possesses. Also note that a woman unveils her face at a wedding ceremony to show that, he, that she has accepted all that the bridegroom has prepared for her and that she trusts him and is ready to give herself to him completely. So again, I hope that you could see some of the symbolism in our temple from the year 2019 and apply that.